today's topic is redox reactions but if to move into the great detail of redox reaction we must understand between difference between oxidation and reduction the points are already written here just focus oxidation increase in oxidation number is oxidation and decrease in oxidation number is reduction class till date you have not been taught what is oxidation number so class let us first define oxidation number very simple to understand valency with charge is called oxidation number for example sodium has valency 1 but oxidation number is plus 1 oxygen you all know valency 2 but oxidation number is minus 2 so when you put charges on the valency that becomes our oxidation number metals are always positive because they are always electron donors non metals are always negative because they accept electron coming back to difference between oxidation and reduction so class whatever you have studied in 9 and 10 that combination with o and removal of h they are of no use now you will be on, only remembering that oxidation means increase in oxidation number and reduction means decrease in oxidation number and one thing more oxidation removal of electron and reduction acceptance of electron just see the example over here sodium removing its one electron getting converted to any plus so class i have written their oxidation number here so just see sodium has not combined with anyone so the combining capacity of sodium is zero therefore oxidation number is also zero but after removing its electron it get converted to any positive so moving from zero state to plus one state and hence increase in oxidation number taking place therefore sodium is going for oxidation similarly chlorine here not combined with anyone so valency is zero but when it accepts one electron it get converted to cl negative oxidation number is changing from 0 to minus 1 decrease in oxidation number taking place therefore it is your reduction so class very very important these two topics increase in oxidation number is your oxidation decrease in oxidation number is reduction removal of electron is oxidation and acceptance of electron is reduction then class there is some something more on oxidation number as i will define you that valency with charge is called oxidation number so more oxidation number of group 1 group 2 group 13 and group 14 are constant they have plus 1 they have plus 2 they have plus 3 and they have plus 4 oxidation number they are all constant let us have example sodium potassium they have oxidation number plus 1 group 2 beryllium magnesium they have oxidation number plus 2 group 13 boron family boron aluminum they all have plus 3 oxidation state and group 14 carbon and silicon they also have plus 4 oxidation state so they are all constant oxidation number of h very important with metal it is always minus 1 see class how sodium hydride if sodium is plus 1 then hydrogen is obviously minus 1 because oh, there is no charge on sodium hydride so if we add oxidation number we get value zero so whenever hydrogen is combining with metal it is always in the negative state with non metal they are always positive for example hcl if chlorine is minus 1 then hydrogen is going to be plus 1 oxidation number of o plus very important oxidation number of o they have three oxidation number in oxides They are always minus two. In class, oxygen combined with ninety-nine percent to in the form of oxides. So in the most of the cases, oxygen is minus two. But in peroxides, they are minus one. Let us take example of hydrogen peroxide. 
you know class hydrogen is plus one plus one so oxygen is obviously is going to be minus one minus one so in peroxide oxygen is minus one in superoxides they are minus half let us take example of potassium superoxide ko2 if k is plus one then obviously oxygen is minus half into two will give you minus one therefore in superoxide oxygen is always minus half then oxidation number of halogens in halides they are always minus one for example nacl plus one then chlorine is minus one we call it sodium chloride similarly magnesium chloride minus one aluminum chloride minus one so in all the halides they are minus one but in hypohalous acid they are positive let us take example here one two three and four HOCl, hydrogen is plus one, oxygen is minus two. Then obviously chlorine is going to be plus one. Then they are going to balance each other and giving you total oxidation number value on the entire molecule is zero. Similarly, HClO2, hydrogen is plus one, oxygen is minus four. Then chlorine is plus three. So class, you see that now the halogens have positive oxidation state. Similarly, HClO3, it is minus 6, plus 1, then chlorine is obviously plus 5. And for chloric acid, HClO4, it is minus 8, hydrogen plus 1, then chlorine is going to be plus 7. So class, we find that in hypohalous acid, they are always positive. Class, this HClO4 is the strongest acid. Strongest acid, even more stronger than sulfuric acid, nitric acid and hydrochloric acid. Plus their name, the first one is called hypochlorous acid. Second one is called hypochloric acid. Third one is perchlorous acid. And this one is perchloric acid. So I repeat again class, HOCl, hypochlorous acid, HLO2, hypochloric acid, HLO3, perchlorous acid and HLO4 is your perchloric acid and HLO4 is the strongest acid. Oxidation number of transition metals always varies because you see the word transition metals in periodic table. When I will be teaching you periodicity, I will be explaining to you that these metals have their valence shell and penultimate shell both incomplete. Therefore, frequent electronic transitions take place between last two shells. Therefore, the name is transition metals. So, therefore, they show variable oxidation state. Let us take example. MnO, MnO2, K2MnO4 and KMnO4. Class, you know, O is minus 2, so Mn is going to be plus 2. If 1 O is minus 2, 2 minus 4, and if this is minus 4, then Mn is going to be plus 4. Potassium plus 2, minus 8, then Mn is here plus 6. Plus 1, minus 8, then Mn is here plus 7. So class, what we find? We find that Mn has plus 2 here, plus 4 here, plus 6 here, and plus 7 here. So, they have variable oxidation state. Therefore, we, we always call them transition metal because they always show transition and therefore they have variable oxidation state. Oxidation number is always calculated per atom. Whatever example you have taken, you always find that it is always taken per atom. The charge on one atom is giving is giving you the oxidation number. 
ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ सॉरी सम ऑफ ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर ऑफ ऑल एलिमेंट्स इन अ न्यूट्रल कंपाउंड इज जीरो टेक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एस टू एस ओ फोर क्लास यू नो हाइड्रोजन इज प्लस वन और प्लस वन इंटू टू सल्फर इज प्लस सिक्स एंड ऑक्सीजन इज माइनस टू इंटू फोर दिस शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो टू प्लस सिक्स माइनस एट इक्वल टू जीरो सो एल एच एस इक्वल टू आर एच एस प्रूफ सो इन एनी न्यूट्रल कंपाउंड इफ यू एड ऑल द ऑक्सीजन नंबर it always comes to zero but for ions it is different class i repeat for ions it is different let us take example of carbonate if i want to find the oxidation number of carbon how to write see let us carbon be x We know oxygen is minus two, minus two into three. It is giving you minus two. So x minus six equals to minus two. So x equal to plus four. So if the compound is neutral, the sum of oxidation number will be zero. And if the compound has any charge on it, then the entire sum of entire oxidation number should be coming to that charge. In the case of carbonate, which we have seen here, that sum of oxidation number is always coming to minus two because Carbonate has minus two charge. So these are the some important topics on oxidation number. Now, class, we are going to take some examples to find out the oxidation numbers. MnO four one negative. We are supposed to find oxidation number of Mn here. Then H two SO three sulfur here. MnO four Minus two. Again, I'm in here. Then Na two S two O three sulfur. That is called dichromate ion. Cr two seven two negative. We are supposed to find out oxidation number of Cr. So, class, let us have these five examples to find oxidation number. Question is find oxidation number of Underlined elements. Class, let M N be x. Oxygen minus two into four equal to minus one. This gives me x minus eight equal to minus one. X equal to plus seven. So M N is having here oxidation number plus seven. Similarly, H two S O three plus one into two. Let sulfur be x plus minus six. No charge on it equal to zero minus six because minus two into three gives you minus six. So I get two plus x minus six equal to zero. X equal to plus four. Six minus two gives you plus four. So sulfur is sitting here at plus four of reason state. Plus this is called permanganate ion. MnO four one negative. And if they have two charges on it, it is called simply manganate ion. So class, let us find out oxidation number of Mn in manganate ion. X plus minus two into four. Equal to minus two x minus eight equal to minus two x equal to plus six. So you see, class M is sitting here at plus six. M is a transition metal here showing plus seven here showing plus six. Now let us come down to the Na two S two O three that is called sodium thiosulfate. Let us find out. And class, since there are two sulfates, so we will take two x because oxidation number is always calculated per atom. So plus one into two plus two x. Then minus two into three, and this must be equal to what? No charge, zero. Let us calculate it. Two plus two x minus six equal to zero. Two x equal to six minus two. Two x equal to four. X equal to plus two. So the charge on one sulfur atom is plus two. So oxidation number of sulfur here in this plus two. Let us find out here again. It is called dichromate ion. How many Cr are there? Two Cr, so we'll take two x minus two into seven equal to minus two. So two x minus fourteen equals to minus two. Two x equal to fourteen minus two. 
12 x equal to plus 6. So, CR is sitting here at plus 6. So, class, with all these examples, we have seen one thing that operation number is always calculated per atom. So, class, you know that chemistry is full of exceptions. So, we have some exceptions here. I am going to show you. And these exceptions are asked in your competitive examinations. Let's see. We are supposed to find out oxidation number of sulfur here, here also sulfur, CR and here nitrogen. Class, this is called peroxo monosulfuric acid. Peroxo monosulfuric acid. And this is called peroxo disulfuric acid. Since the name contains the word peroxo, it means it contains one peroxide bridge. Let us see how. So, class, you see that peroxide bridge is visible here as in hydrogen peroxide. So, class, let us find out the oxidation number of sulfur here. Class, these are representing oxygen as oxide. So, it is minus 2, minus 2, hydrogen 2, plus 1, plus 1. Again, this is your hydroxide part. So, minus 2. But this one is your peroxide part, minus 1, minus 1. So, let us find out with the help of these oxidation number, what would be the oxidation number of sulfur here. So, class, for hydrogen, I can write plus 2. Oxygen, let us count. Okay, for sulfur, we can take X. Now, let us count oxygen. Minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 6. And this is minus 2. Minus 8. This must be equal to 0. So, class 2 plus X. Minus 8 equal to 0. X equal to 8 minus 2. So, you get the value X equal to plus 6. So, sulfur is sitting here at plus 6. Class, these are the exceptions. So, you remember it. Similarly, peroxo disulfuric acid. Class, again, we are getting peroxide bridge away. Whenever two O atoms are singly bonded, they give you peroxide bridge. Remember, I repeat again, whenever two O atoms are singly bonded, they give you peroxide bridge. So now let us find out hydrogen plus 1, plus 1, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, and minus 2. Because hydroxide, minus 2 oxide, minus 2 oxygen again here, minus 2 here, minus 2 here, minus 2, minus 2, and hydrogen plus 1. And since this is a peroxide bridge, I will told you that oxygen is minus 1 in the peroxides. Now let us find it out. For hydrogen, I can write 2. For oxygen, let us count. Uh, for sulfur, let us take 2x because there are 2 sulfur. Now, let us count oxygen. Minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 6. Minus 2, minus 8. Minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 6. So, minus 8 and minus 6 gives you what? Minus 14. And this must be equal to 0 because there is no charge on it. So, 2 plus 2x minus 8, sorry, minus 14 equal to 0. So, 2x equal to 12, x equal to again, we are getting plus 6 here. So, sulfur is sitting here at plus 6. In the case of CrO5, it is, has butterfly structure. Butterfly structure. See here. So class, condition of peroxide is being maintained here, you see, two atoms are singly bonded, 
two atoms are singly bonded, so they are corresponding to pair of sides. So minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. But this one is your minus two. Let chromium be X, and there is count oxygen uh, oxidation number of oxygen. Minus one, minus one, minus two, minus four, minus five, minus six. X minus six equal to zero. The value you get X equal to plus six. So Cr is sitting here at plus six. And the class this one, this one is a covalent compound, nitrobenzene organic compound. So how how to find it out? For that, we'll take some other example. See it. QH. It is called potassium hydroxide. If K is plus one, then total hydroxyl will be minus one. Why? Because if O is minus two, hydrogen is plus one. Minus two plus one gives you minus one. So plus one and minus one will balance each other. So hydroxyl as a whole has charge minus one. Now you see this one. Class, this is called phenol. And just now you studied that hydroxyl is minus one. So if hydroxyl is minus one, then this phenyl is plus one. So on C6H5, the charge on C6H5 is plus 1. With the help of this example, we will calculate here population number of nitrogen. Phenyl, we just found plus 1. Nitrogen plus X. Oxygen is minus 4. Remember, minus 2 into 2. And this must be equal to 0 because there is no charge on the compound. So now it gives me 1 plus X minus 4 equal to 0. X equal to 4 minus 1. We get x k value plus 3. So nitrogen is sitting here at plus 3. So class, these are the ways how to find oxidation number. And class, we have taken in great detail how to find oxidation number. Now class, we will move to our next topic and that is your balancing ionic equation. Very, very important part. But before that, oxidation number concept should be clear. Once you are able to find out oxidation number, then balancing becomes very, very easy.